Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Durkin Battle video. And in this video we're going to be taking a look at the fused fighter who surpasses all super power, uh, full power, super sen- sorry, it's a fused fighter who surpasses all super full power Saiyan 4 limit breaker Vegito Xeno. And he's obviously the premier unit from the Dragon Ball Heroes summon, although they're all pretty good. He's the Dragon Ball Heroes giant air power or fused fighters category lead of 170%. And he gives an additional 30% for those who belong to the crossover category. On his super attack, he raises attack for one turn. And then his passive, he activates his entrance animation upon the character's entry once only. He has a chance of performing a critical hit of plus 30%. Reduces damage received by 30% for six turns from his entry point. He then has key plus 3 and attack and defense of 200%. He will get an additional 150% when performing an attack. And then he gets an additional attack and defense of 100%. And a great chance of launching an additional super attack when there's another giant, a power or crossover category ally attacking in the same turn. Or a giant, a power or crossover category enemy. His chance of performing a critical hit is plus 40% and he reduces damage received by 30%. When all allies attacking in the same turn are giant ape power or crossover category. Now, he has an active skill. It greatly raises his attack, temporarily causes ultimate damage, and will give all his attacks critical hits. And it can be activated when everyone is a crossover category character starting from the third turn or starting from the sixth turn. His link skills are Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, Prepared for Battle, Power Bestowed by God, Fuse Fighter, Saiyan Raw, and Fierce Battle. He's on the Patara, Full Power, Time Travelers, Dragon Ball Heroes, Final Trump Card, Battle of Wits, Giant A Power, Crossover, Defenders of Justice, Time Limit, Accelerated Battle, Power Beyond Super Saiyan, and Fuse Fighters categories. Overall, he's pretty good. Um, so, for his passive, I believe, um, so, I believe, from what I understand, you know, I think his passive has one big kind of hindrance, and that is his additional 40% crit and his additional damage reduction of 30% are locked behind the entire rotation being giant ape power or entire rotation being crossover. Can't be half and half, so you can't have like full power uh, int SS4 Goku and have uh, super hearts, and that will activate his. 30%. That's something that just can't happen, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. So it's a slight, not slight, but I mean, it is a limitation. It is like it is a limitation. Uh, for me, it doesn't make him bad in any way, shape, or form. I think for the most part, he's pretty good. St obviously, I think he's really good. We'll talk about that. But I think that's the one, if there is one slight about this unit, I think it's that. And I think it's the, uh, you know, super attack effect. Uh, I think the super attack effect um, is also, you know, not great. Raising attack for one turn is a bit weird. Um, I know, technically speaking, you can build him like full additional, but realistically speaking, it means he will drop off eventually a little bit, which is the only real kind of shame here. But yeah, uh, definitely, you know, I would say pretty interesting, um, those kind of design mechanics. Overall, he is very, very good. Uh, I think he's really, really solid. Maybe he's got 200% attack and defense, so he starts off the turn very nicely at around 230, 240k uh, at 55%, 170%, uh, 170k, 180k, depending on support. Uh, if you have a giant a power or cross of a category ally which is pretty good then he gains 150 percent when performing a super attack remember this is multiplicative so his total boost uh is going to be 650 percent uh you know boost which is pretty crazy and then 900 percent when he's got a giant a power cross of a category ally so very 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 strong unit when you factor all of that in uh, when all of that kicks in, then he really, really starts to look uh, like, yeah, crazy. So definitely something to consider, uh, you know, at least from my side, is how strong he is. I mean, 55% unit, 
Uh, he's shucking out eight, nine million attack stats, multiple super attacks, uh, really good active skill, good crit chance, 60% damage reduction for the first six turns. Very, very good unit. Um, he's not really a first slot unit. Maybe if you've got a rainbow, then he's a first slot unit, maybe. Uh, because then I think he'll have some pretty high defense start of turn. Uh, you know, like 250, 260k, and with the 30% damage reduction, that's okay to tank normals uh, from some fights. But I think, realistically, he's really, really good in the second slot. Uh, really, really strong unit in that regard. Like a very, very strong second slot unit. So, um, yeah, I think, for me, he looks really, really good. I do like him. Uh, I think he's a lot of fun. And I think, you know, overall, I think he brings a lot to the table. Uh, he does help out a couple teams. I mean, Fuse Fighters, he's great on. Uh, obviously, DB Heroes, you know, kind of, you know, self-explanatory. And then, obviously, Giant A Power as well. So, he definitely helps out a lot of the teams he's on. Overall, I think his performance is pretty good. I think the attack stats are good. I think the defense off the supers is really, really good. Uh, and you know what, the first 6 turn 60% damage reduction is super helpful. I mean, you look at the amount of AoE events, or you know the amount of like uh, red zones that start out super duper strong uh, nowadays, especially the Time Traveler's red zone. I think it's good. I think his, you know, like kit build, I think it's very serviceable. I think it's very, very solid. If I could change anything, I'd give him at least raising defense on super. Uh, and then I would probably, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'd probably make him slightly less restrictive in terms of that additional 30%. Because I think when you remove an additional 30% and 40% crit chance, I think he, did, you know, he doesn't look really nearly as good. Uh, of course, you build the team around that. Um, so it's not to say that he's impossible to build a team around. He's got some really, really strong, really awesome teams. It's just more of a mention than anything else, but I think he's great at 55%. The numbers he's shucking out is crazy. Uh, really, really awesome. And I think he's great. Link set wise, he's got a good link set as well. Uh, prepared for battle, fantastic. Uh, super Saiyan, really good. Fierce battle, obviously super common links. Then you have really strong ones like Saiyan Raw, which is awesome. Uh, shocking speed is pretty good. Palm Stop by God for Patara, obviously. And Fuse Fighter gives him coverage on all of his teams. He's got a great link set. For a Vegito unit, that's SS4, he's got a great link set. He links really well with other SS4 units. You know, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Raw, Fierce Battle, Prepared for Battle, or Shocking Speed for a lot of them. Bam, he comes out looking really, really good. Uh, he links really decently with a lot of Vegitos, you know, because they have Prepared for Battle, they have Fused Fighter, they have Power Bestowed by God. Uh, they have Super Saiyan, a lot of them, Fierce Battle, etc. So he links pretty well with Vegito units. And yeah, I think, honestly speaking, um, I think he's great. Um, that's it, really. Honestly speaking, outside of the SA effect, I think he's pretty tops. Um, obviously, a big thing is going to be his, you know, his role in the team. Um, I would say his number one role in the team is as a second slot unit, uh, if I'm being real. I think him being a second slot unit is probably for the best. I do think, for me, that's his best role. Outside of that, you can run him as a first slot unit, but then you probably need to have the physical Vegito Xeno uh, alongside him. The two together, pretty crazy. Um, to be honest with you, the two together are a pretty fun duo. Uh, so it's definitely something you can run, and we're definitely going to take a look at that. But yeah, I would say, if you've got Physical Vegito, it changes a bit because of the amount of links and support and just the, the good synergy they have as units. Uh, whereas, yeah, yeah, otherwise, if you're running him, you can run him with, like, Int Full Baha Goku. That's also a great combination as well, allowing him to be a really strong second slot unit. Uh, so yeah, he's very flexy. Although he's great defensively, especially after super, he's not unable to do first slot tanking in a lot of events, and he doesn't need to be in any slot, which is pretty good. You know, so he meshes really well. He doesn't really take a position away from any units, and yeah, 
and he's really good. That's it for me. Bye.